Namaste. Breath. While everybody breathes, there are very few who actually understand what the breath is doing to them, how it's doing to them, and that breath can actually be a fantastic way to get to good health and wellness. Food is known to be medicinal, so is you know water or liquids and so on. But if they are medicinal or if they can be medicinal, your breath can be much more so. Most people pay zero attention to their breath, so they don't understand what the breath is doing and what it can do. So once you start becoming a breath watcher, once you start watching your breath, once you start exploring your breath, you may discover amazing things about your breath that you normally just cannot be aware. So for example, if I ask you to take a slow, deep breath in, you will, most of us will probably feel the breath go in and maybe go up till the chest level and probably that's the end of it. Some people who breathe right may feel the breath is going up, turning down, going down towards the belly button area. Okay, that's an improvement. And there are some who may be aware that when they take the breath, the breath can actually go all the way down to the muladhar or the perineum. Now, this may be counterintuitive, you know, in terms of what we understand about the breath and the mechanics of breath and so on, with the lungs and so on. But there are, there are aspects to our breath, to our being that many of us just cannot be aware or just because we have not paid attention, we have never noticed, we have never tried to understand, be that as it may. So this is one aspect of it. But did you know that there are actually at least three major channels which I call the Brahma, Vishnu and Mahesh channels for your breath to go all the way down to the Muladhar and all the way up to the Sahastra. There are three parallel channels so to speak. One of them feels as if it's going right through the center of the body and that's fine. No worries with that. Most people are aware of this. There is a second channel which runs up along the spine. Some people tend to breathe down the spine. Some practices also advise breathing down the spine. I absolutely don't agree with that. I don't subscribe to that at all. And I say the breath up the spine should be our uh, real uh, technique. So let it go down towards the center, towards the uh, muladha, towards the perineum. And and then channel it up along the spine. So these are the two that many may be aware. But there is also a third channel, which I call the Brahma channel. In my understanding or what I have uh, observed, most people do not have too much awareness of this Brahma channel and it's permanently blocked for most. Think, think of the Brahma channel as the one that brings all the subtle aspects of the Panch Bhutas, Panch Mahabhutas or the five elements. The subtle aspects of the five elements, they are brought down towards the Muladhar where they collect at the bottom, at the, at the base of the Muladhar to charge or recharge the Kundalini. But if this does not happen constantly, regularly, the Kundalini, which I sometimes liken to a well, think of the Kundalini as a well from which we keep drawing energy, we keep drawing uh, and so on, but we never recharge. So in time, after some time, the well begins to run dry. So in that sense, the Kundalini begins to get depleted. But if you learn to breathe down the third channel, and then if you learn techniques like the lotus opening, which I share uh, in my various breathwork classes, especially in the Swatantra Kriya, which is again a very powerful uh, system that, that takes you on a journey internally, of course, through all the three channels and a lot more. In the process, you know, you are able to cleanse your uh, nadis, you are able to cleanse the different chakras simply with the power of breath. 
and as you manage to clean and cleanse all these chakras and nadis your energy system undergoes a big 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 overhaul and remember if energy flows well through you through your being you can use energy to heal yourself in uh, innumerable ways innumerable ways so familiarize yourself with the three channels first and then learn techniques of what i call the lotus opening which is like a vaso inner vaso dilation so it's like an inner expansion which allows all these three channels to work beautifully and then of course as you learn the harmonium breath or sometimes i call it the accordion breath you can start doing amazing things to your uh, pranamaya kosh to your energy body so take advantage and learn and connect with me if you like i'll be very glad to guide you uh, some of these sessions some of these classes may be a little expensive but they are well worth what you learn because while people are mostly focused on their food water etc breath which is without which we can't live even 5 minutes you know 5 minutes no breath and it's bye bye yet breath is the one thing that nobody pays attention to so hopefully uh, you'll go on a bit of an exploration with your breath learn a little more and take advantage of it namaste